Bungie is not doing so good. Bungie is not doing so good. Uh, I guess today they uh, they let go a bunch of people. A bunch of people, man. So um, here we go. This is directly from Bungie. The new path for Bungie. This morning, I'm sharing with all of you some of the most difficult changes we've ever had to make as a studio due to rising costs of development and industry shifts as well as endearing economic conditions it has become clear that we need to make substantial changes for our cost structure sorry sorry to our cost structure and focus development efforts entirety sorry entirely on destiny and marathon that means beginning today 220 of our roles will be eliminated representing roughly 17 percent of our studio's workforce damn that's a lot of people zoom in a little bit more these action will affect every level of the company including most of our executive and senior leader roles today as a difficult and painful day, especially for our departing colleagues, all of which have made important and valuable contributions to Bungie. Our goal is to support them with the utmost care and respect for everyone affected by this job production. We will be offering a generous exit package, including severance, bonus, and health coverage. I realize for all of this hard news, uh, especially following the success, we have been seen with the final shape. But as we've navigated the broader economic realities over the last year and after exhausting all of our mitigation options, this has become a necessary decision to refocus our studio and our business with more realistic goals and viable financials. We are committing to two other major changes today that we believe will support our focus, leverage Sony's strength and create new opportunities for Bungie talent. Now, here's the thing. Has Bungie... I'm, I'm pretty sure most of these com big companies have a lot of DEI garbage in them. So, by the transitive property, you're going to have a lot of DEI woke bullshit that basically trickles into your game. Right? Community managers and whatnot. But damn, this sucks, man. Man, see, uh, it, it sucks for a lot of people who are, like, not woke and people who are actually just there doing their job, not, like, forcing any of these diversity crap. Like, it sucks for them. It sucks for the people who are actually good at what they do. Oh, uh, we... Okay, there it is. First, so we are deepening our integration with Sony Interactive Entertainment, working with Integrate uh, 155 of our... Sorry, 155 of our rows, roughly 12% into SIE over the next few quarters. SIE has worked tirelessly with us to identify roles for as many of our people as possible, enabling us together to save a great deal of talent that would otherwise have been affected by the reduction in force. Second, we are working with PlayStation Studios leadership to spin out one of our incubation projects, an action game set in a brand new science fantasy universe to form a new studio within PlayStation Studios to continue its promising development. This will be a time of tremendous change in our studio. Now, um, when you go through the stuff like this, 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 this will be considered like a restructure, right? So that means that Sony was like, your company has a lot of, your company isn't making a lot of money and your games aren't making a lot of money. I, I don't think, I'm not sure how much Destiny pull, uh, basically pulls in every month. And I'm not sure what the other game is. Marathon. I'm not sure how much how well that is doing. I'm not hearing any good things coming out from Destiny though. That's the thing, right? I did hear a lot of good news right before Destiny came out, but now like my brother played Destiny and he said it's okay, and he even bought the PS4 Destiny bundle, I believe. Yeah, I, I believe it's the white one, and he says it's okay. And I asked him, will you go back to play Destiny 2? He's like, no. He said it's sort of boring. So uh, yeah, let's see. Um. Let's see, uh, let's unpack how we ended up in this position. It's important to understand how we got here. Over five years, for over five years, it has been our goal to ship games in three enduring global franchises. To realize that ambition, we set up several incubation projects, each needed to, uh, each needed, sorry, each seated with senior development leaders 
from our existing teams. We have uh, eventually realized that this model stretched our talent too thin, too quickly. It also forced our uh, studio support structures to scale to a larger level than we could realistically support given our two primary products in development, Destiny and Marathon. Additionally, in 2023, our rapid expansion ran headlong into broad economic slowdown, a sh uh, sharp t uh, downturn in games industry, our quality miss with Destiny 2 Lightfall, and the need to give both fi the final shape and marathon the time needed to ensure both projects deliver at the quality our players expect and deserve. We were overly ambitious. Our financial safety margins were subsequently exceeded I uh, exceeded it and we began running in the end. Now here's the thing. I think this was for every game company. Uh it's not it's it's not, you know, the exception with um with Bungie here. During COVID, there has been an increase, a huge increase of um players, right? So that means that they needed more demand for artists, producers, animators. Uh, you know, VFX artists, what have you in the game industry, right? All, all of this extra people started playing video games like Genshin Impact, Destiny 2, or whatever, or what have you. They needed more people, so they overhired. And what happened was that they didn't expect the lull to sort of go back down to where it was prior to COVID. And then now they have to let everyone go. The company I work for did that. The, the, the company, you know, Microsoft did that, Blizzard did that, right? Like it's not, it's happened everywhere, right? The last DLC was great according to Crickles. I, I'm pretty sure, right? According to what I heard, I heard it was like their best expansion since like Destiny 1. I'm not 100% sure though. Let's see. Uh, uh, after this new trajectory became clear, we knew we had to change our course and speed. And we did everything we could to avoid today's outcome, even with exhaustive efforts undertaken across our leadership, the product teams to resolve our financial challenges. These steps were simply not enough. As a result today, we must say goodbye to incredible talent, colleagues and friends. This will be a challenging time at Bungie and we will need uh, we will need to help our team navigate these changes in the weeks to, and months ahead. This will be a hard week and we know that our team will need time to process, to ask questions, and to absorb this news. Today, over the next several weeks, we will host team meetings and town halls, team breakout sessions, and private individual sessions to ensure we uh, we are keeping our communication open and transparent. Bungie will continue to make great games. We still have over 850 team members, including Destiny and Marathon. Sorry, building Mar uh, Destiny and Marathon, and we will continue to build amazing experiences that exceed our players' expectations. There, we will. Uh, there will be a time to talk about our goals and projects, but today is not the day. Today, our focus is on supporting our people. Pete. So, there was a game that Blizzard was working on, and while my friend was in the Philippines reuniting with his long lost brother. He got fired over the phone for that. He got not either over the phone or, or through email. He, his his entire team got let go, right? The thing is that this is not new, right? I believe 80% uh, of the art team that, uh, that the game that I'm working on got let go. It's not because the game wasn't doing good. It's just the game, it was costing more money. To keep those artists on through to uh due to the the fact that we we over hired now for bungie on the other hand their games haven't been doing good and a lot of their stuff has been extremely woke so it makes sense right did they fire uh they fired the bat workers that's why they keep dei hires i don't know like in my opinion i think dei in these companies are stupid it's not needed right because inclusivity and um, diversity happens naturally. A lot of the, the companies that I worked for, diversity is naturally, it, it, it naturally just happens, right? The fact that you are forcing diversity, forcing inclusivity and equity, that that is what usually and typically ruins your game. So diverse, 
diversity of thought, diversity of um, skill set is what's more important and merit is what's more important than actually, oh, we, we don't have enough black people. Oh, we don't have enough Mexican people. Oh, we don't have enough Chinese people, whatever have you, right? Bringing that on is that's what usually tanks your game. Especially like case in point, you take a look at Suicide Squad kills the Justice League. That shit is really fucking bad. I, let's check it again. Let's check it again. Steam charts. Boom. Current players. 184. This game sucks. No one's going to play it. Your peak today was 314. And this game came out five months ago. This game is dead. Con Concord and Flintcock? Yeah, those suck too, right? Let's see. Concord beta, right? I believe Concord... Uh, is it this one? Concord, uh, let's see. I think Concord and beta, uh, Concord beta. Is there a beta? Concord beta? No, I don't see it. Uh, let's see. Flint cock. Uh, <laughs> shit, I'm gonna <laughs> put a cock. Flint lock. <laughs> oh, man. 32. 32 people. Uh, check out Tales of Kinzera Zaul. Tales of the uh, Kinzera. Four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, dude. Oh, man. Four people. Man, not good. Make good games, people will come. Right? Let's go ahead and check out uh, Arkham Asylum. It's Game of the Year edition. 318. Make good games? This game, how, how, this game came out more than 10 years ago. And it still has 318 people playing this game. Man. Make good games. Diversity naturally happens when you hire good people. You don't need to forcibly hire in people to fill a quota. You don't need to hire in specific people just because you don't you're not seeing enough women. You're not seeing enough black people or, or, or gay people in your company. It's okay. You don't need to you don't need to hire in a fake black vice president just because oh I need a diversity hire. You don't need that. Bring in people with merit. That's when you'll get the best product. It's that simple, it's that easy. If you like money, bring in good people. Bring in people with merit. If you hate money and you want to see your shit suck dick, Bring in diversity hires. Case in point, you got the huge layoff at Bungie. 